Hey guys, so today we are going to be working with the long division strategy. I wanted to start with a practice um, in a strategy that you guys are probably pretty familiar with. So all you're going to need for this is a piece of paper and something to write with. You can see that I have this long division slider over here to help keep track of where we are in the process. Um, so as we go, I am just going to be moving this bead to show which step we are at during our long division. Um, you probably don't have one of these. So if you don't and you need to have the steps out in front of you, um, I know a lot of people use um, different little rhymes to help them remember it. I've heard dad, mom, sister, brother, rover, or maybe you have your own that your teacher has taught you. If that helps you and you want to write that along the top, that is totally fine. The overall goal, though, is to eventually not need a slider or to not need something written across the top. So once you have your paper and your writing utensil, just remember that as I go through this practice, you can work ahead of me and you can pause at any time that you need to. And then you can just unpause and check with me whenever you're done. So the division problem that we are going to use is going to be 348 divided by 32. So all this really means is that we're going to see how many groups of 32 can fit into the number 348. Okay. So when we're doing that, the number that we are trying to fit into another number, so the number we are trying to see how many times goes into the larger number, is going to be called our divisor. And our divisor goes on the outside of our long division bar. So then the number that we are fitting the divisor into is called our dividend. So 348 is our dividend and 32 is our divisor. So we always want to make sure that when we're dividing by whole numbers, okay, with whole numbers, we want to make sure that our dividend is the larger number. Okay. So hopefully your paper looks like mine now, and we are going to start with what is 348 divided by 32. So the very first step in our long division process is that we're going to divide. Now, when we start to divide, I always like to cover up all the numbers except for the one in the largest place value or the one that is farthest to the left. So I'm covering up all my other numbers except that three because that is my largest number, my biggest place value. So I'm going to ask myself, and I'm going to keep this together. I'm going to keep this as 32. Can 32 go into the number three? No. 32 cannot go into 3 because 3 is smaller than 32. So since that did not work, I know that I am not going to have a number above this 3 here. Okay. If it helps you to write a 0, that is totally fine. So I'm going to move to my next largest place value. So I'm going to move to the right. And now this number that I'm looking at here is 34. So I need to ask myself, can 32 fit into 34? Yes, it can. So since we said that 32 fits into 34, I need to write how many times right above that 4. I want to make sure that those place values line up. Okay. So 32 fits into 34 one whole time. And like I said before, I'm going to write that one right above my 4. So this 4 is in my tens place. So we just found out what... Um, digit is going to be in our tens place in our quotient, in our answer. All right, so if I'm looking at my next step in the long division process, I am going to move my bead down and I am going to multiply. So when I multiply, I'm going to take my divisor and I'm going to multiply by that number that I just said went into my dividend or part of my dividend. So 32 times 1 equals... 32. And again, it's really important that we line up our place values. Okay. So now I just multiplied. I'm going to move to my next step, which is subtraction. So I am going to subtract 34 minus 32. I know that 4 minus 2 is 2. And I know that 3 minus 3 is nothing. All right, moving right along, I'm going to 
move my bead and my next step is to bring down. So the only number that I have left is this eight here in my ones place. So I'm gonna bring this eight down. Okay. And that makes this no longer a two, but that makes this number a 28. All right, and then you can see my next step is just to repeat this process. So I'm gonna go all the way back up to divide. And I need to ask myself now, hmm, can 32 fit into 28? Can 32 fit into 28? It can't. 32 is larger than 28. So I have to ask myself, hmm, if it cannot fit into 28, that means 32 fits into 28 zero times. Okay. I know this has been a little tricky for some of my kiddos in the past, but we need to remember that if we had this one in, a, in our tens place, we had to have some digit in our ones place. And that's okay that that digit was a zero because now part of our quotient is the whole number 10. So I just divided, I just said that 32 went into 28 zero times. So I'm gonna move my division slider and my next step again is just to multiply. So I'm gonna take 32 times the zero that we just put up there. 32 times zero is zero. I'm going to subtract 28 minus nothing is 28. Then I kind of come to a standstill here because I have nothing else to bring down. So therefore I have nothing else to repeat. So you can see that down here, if I have nothing else to repeat, then that just means that this answer that I'm left with is going to be my remainder. Okay. So my remainder is going to be 28. You can just represent that with an R. Now I'll challenge you, if you remember how to make your remainder into a decimal, go ahead and do that right now. But this is where we are gonna stop. So now I know that 348 divided by 32 is 10, remainder 28. How'd you do?